Kim and Allie, we miss you. We do. But we are having so much fun <laughs> up here in Duluth. Oh, man, it's an absolutely beautiful day, gorgeous weather. We are at the Fitgers Complex right now. Anybody who's been to Duluth, you know Fitgers. It's been around since the 1850s. I think it was closed for 12 years. But other than that, it has been open and, and serving beer most of the time. Great beer, yeah. great restaurants in this complex. We have some live music, some great viewers with us here uh, as well. And they're all just kind of sharing in the awesome things that we were able to do throughout the day today. We visited uh, this amazing ship, this huge, huge ship. The William A. Irvin, 610 feet. And this is just kind of a great way to get a, an idea of the history of what made Duluth Duluth. And of course, that shipping. Duluth was the, the shipping leader uh, at one point uh, because it was just such a busy port. And the William A. Irvin uh, sailed from 1938 to 1970. It's 610 feet. It's it's amazing when you see the scope of this thing. You're like, well, it's a big ship. And by today's standards, it's tiny. I mean, it's not that you big, get yeah. ships over 1,000 feet right now. But you can go water. and tour it. Kids are free and adults pay as well. Pretty cool thing to go do. Glenshee Mansion we checked mm. out as well. Everybody kind of knows that from you know, the murder that happened there. There was a murder was for a murder. sure. But people have visited this mansion for years since the 70s to tour it, uh, but they've really changed the mission of this. It's more than just a look back at history. It's a place where the community comes together today. That was the four on the floor. They do live concerts, what, every Wednesday Right night. on the pier, and it's yeah. free. So people show up on the museum grounds. Some swim up. They kayak up. They're on the pier. It's really an awesome cool party experience. atmosphere. Yeah, so if you're here on a Wednesday, for sure, check that out. All right, we had a little uh, adventure time ourselves. We went over to uh, Spirit Mountains Adventure Park and checked out the Timber Twister, which how That's would you right. even describe it? It's kind of, you know, it's like there's a track that goes yeah. down the mountain. In and out of trees and you're riding on this like it's go kind of a go-kart kart, yeah. kind of thing yeah so it's like a roller coaster but you're in your own little uh cart and you can you control it. the speed lever up and down go as fast or slow as you want we to go. went all in yeah just we hammer down all as fast as you can go and then also up there uh not to be confused with the timber twister the timber flyer right which is a so zip much line. timber it's a zip line kind of <laughs> yeah you're sitting in like a chairlift type thing we yeah. did it together it was a special moment for the mm, two of us. Yeah. Uh, and you go up to 22 miles per hour down and this And then thing. you stop and Boom! snap backwards. It's aggressive. It's jarring, but fun. We, we were <laughs> laughing. Like yeah. We are having a good time when we were doing that. It was so much fun. My family's coming up this weekend. We're going to spend the weekend up here, and I for sure am going back to Spirit Mountain because Seth, the 12-year-old, will go nuts. He will love it. And we've got a big day ahead of us today. We're going to do a little bit of mountain biking. Yes. And, I mean, we're up on the lake. you got to drop a line, so a little fishing as well. Who do you think caught the bigger fish, Matt or me? You'll find out tonight at 5. We do miss you guys. We hope you're having a great morning, and we'll see you on TV tonight at 5 and 6. Do they miss us, though? Do they? They look like they're having a pretty good time. I think they're having a good time. Yeah. They miss you while recording that. Yes. The rest of the time, they're not. They don't miss us, us right now when they're plenty sleeping. plenty of special moments, just <laughs> the two of them. How romantic. Who do you think caught the bigger fish, Jason or I'm going to say they caught zero fish. I'm going to go with Jason. I was going to go with Jason, too. Mm -hmm. okay. if, if anybody caught anything, it would Dishidon, be. Dishidon, Lake Superior is a totally different beast, so mm -hmm. I'll be curious to see what they can do.